Hello everybody, welcome to the video today. As you guys know, Deshaun Watson has had an up and down career. Now has landed and been one of the highest paid players with the Cleveland Browns. Somehow, no comment on the things that have happened in the past with him and, uh, you know, uh, the controversy surrounding his name. Today, we're just going to focus on the career simulation, see how he progresses, see if he can really get back to that spot where he was with the Texans. Because so far, he's not looked the part and this has been recorded obviously after week one and he did not look incredible or anything obviously they beat the Bengals, but it wasn't because of deshaun watson uh we got a really good offensive line in front of you really good uh offensive weapons with dpj i'm gonna put elijah moore in that wide receiver two slot even though or yeah and he's already playing the slot uh dpj was really good last year with amari cooper your star receiver then defensively you've got some great uh cover linebackers you have one thornhill and grant delpit playing your safety uh position for you and you have denzel ward and uh, newsom's been really good in real life martin emerson will come in and play was he an lsu kid why does he feel like like he was an LSU. He wasn't. He was Mississippi State. Someone reminds me on this team of like an LSU corner. Could be one of the top two guys. I don't care to look though. Uh, Ford and then Miles Garrett, Zaria Smith will be your veteran edge duo with Maurice Hurst and Dalvin Tomlinson on the inside. Definitely could use a different defensive tackle other than Maurice Hurst. And like I said, you've got a great linebacking crew with uh, Jeremiah Wusukoromoa and Anthony Walker with Sione Takitaki right behind them. So we'll look to start out this career sim and Deshaun Watson have a big year number one. This Browns team has done good in simulation in the past and when i do my rebuilds and whatnot so you guys want to check those out by the way too go look at my uh the rest of my channel i'm sure you guys will enjoy it year number one obviously they beat the Bengals in real life but can they do that in simulation and do good through the first half of the season we'll see and yeah what a start four and two is not bad at all and we have the one and five seahawks up next but we'll see sean watson's numbers on the year so far have been not great at all 1200 yards is dorian topkin robinson's ready to take his job maybe i should have done a dorian topkin robinson whatever dorian thompson robinson a career sim. that would have been fun let me know if you guys want one of those 11 of 186 six touchdowns with four interceptions 60 percent completion percentage only 203 yards a game not the highlight of the team by any stretch of the imagination as nick chubb also hasn't been uh insane so well, i don't really know where this offense is getting uh you know its attention from but elijah moore gotta step up but you gotta you gotta be better than that defensively anthony walker will lead the team in tackles and tfls with uh Zedary smith up there and leads the team in sacks as we'll see miles garrett probably lead by the end of the season he'll probably pull off some odd number Number of sacks that we've never seen before in the second half if he's only starting off with one we'll go to the playoffs see if we can make it uh we're not on pace but we have a good shot at it and the browns were actually pretty good but they finished last in the division so nick chubb goes out with a bang 10 yards an attempt going for 130 uh, against it looks like cincinnati in the last week and deshaun watson wasn't good 3100 yards 19 touchdowns to 13 interceptions obviously not good not what you want to see at all nick chubb was pretty good from forward probably got to step up a little bit and uh do and fill a little bit more of that kareem hunt role receiving no receiver over a thousand david and joku was really good as a tight end but elijah moore like i said probably just needs to be involved a little bit more and how do you do that i'm not 100 percent sure anthony walker 140 tackles or close to jeremiah wusukor more not tra uh, trailing by any stretch of the imagination Maurice hurst leads the team in sacks with 13 how is how that possible and miles garrett only gets three yeah great playbook guys great uh great stuff the the ea really knows how to put together a browns playbook and here we are now i was gonna say pickens i was like what in the world but there's an e in front of it and there's that so here's the team for year number two deshaun watson hasn't progressed too much i think he's up to the age 28 or 9 now so 28 years of age 92 throw powers accuracy is still pretty good his awareness is down and um yeah i don't know you got the same offensive line pretty much i think some of them regress though and a bad tight end number two but david and joku will be your tight end number one jalen darden david bell cedric tillman who i probably would want coming up and play in a little bit so we'll give him that wide receiver three spot uh the donovan people's Jones rolled last year Zary smith up to superstar x factor along with miles garrett and Siaka Eka will come up and start playing the interior as well. Martin Emerson just progressed a little bit, if any. Enzo Ward up and overall, and same with Newsom. So not seeing the best development, especially on the offensive side of things. Tony Fields, I think, is a little bit better than a 68 overall. When he's seen the field, he hasn't been bad at all. You lose two cover linebackers, which sucks, but it is what it is. And uh, this will be the team and how it's set up. And I will make sure to change the slot receiver to Elijah Moore before we all start. But I'll see you guys at the midseason. And just a fair warning, I'm not going to simulate to midseason every season. Just these first two or three just to really uh get the feel for how the team and playbooks work early and see if they change or they get progressively worse as the season goes on so it's nothing like insane but three and four start is not that bad you could definitely flip that so we'll see sean watson starting this season off a lot better yards wise but touchdown to interception ratio is one to one and we don't like that rushing like i said we're going to see uh jerome ford probably a little bit better than he is and nick shaw probably needs to average a little bit more yards a carry mario cooper's on pace for a thousand we'll see if he actually ends the 
season with enough and Cedric Tillman's doing really good in his new profound role. David Njoku not far behind but probably seems to be a little bit more of a safety blanket as that sort of role seems to fit him and five and a half sacks for Miles Garrett as he'll finally start to get going. Interceptions Brian Stewart the middle linebacker wearing number 26 is kind of gross but uh that's uh football nowadays as he'll have three interceptions leads the team by a whole two. One for uh, Musu Koromoa, Ward, and Newsom. We'll see how the team can finish off the season. Hopefully it's better than the last and the start of this one. They'll need to finish off with a bang and uh, go out strong. Try to beat your division opponents who probably have gotten a little bit worse since last season. Nope, we go 6-11, and 11, so we got even worse as Deshaun Watson was really good on the uh, outing of the season, the season finale for him. He's almost up to 4,000 yards, 32 touchdowns, cleaned up his interceptions a little bit, only seven in the second half, but a lot more touchdowns. Big Chubb was good to close the season off. Jerome Ford and Pierre Strong really fighting for that number two spot as uh, Pierre Strong made his case a little bit better, but four touchdowns from Jerome Ford isn't bad at all. Receiving, Mari Cooper nearing uh, 1,300, and maybe he will retire soon, and Elijah Moore can step up into an extended role. Had 13 touchdowns last season, one more than uh, Amari Cooper. Steady Tillman wasn't bad at all, coming in and filling that wide receiver three spot flawlessly. David Njoku, I mean, actually, I need to check how many drops he had, and then, then I could say that, but uh, Njoku, 580, three touchdowns, nothing really special, and I'll stop checking on the defense. I'm just going to check. Miles Garrett, sack numbers, as he only put up 10 and a half. We'll be on to next season. This Browns team is off to a pretty bad start with uh, Deshaun Watson under center. And I believe we're heading into year number three, if I'm not mistaken. They did draft a way better running back too than you could ever imagine. Cedric Tillman, I'm going to put in the wide receiver two spot. Why? I really want to see him exceed or succeed and exceed so, uh, expectations. I can't speak and really see a real life player do much better things than Pickens. And hopefully they are smart enough to uh, negotiate with him and we'll see the rise of Cedric Tillman along with the career sim of Deshaun Watson. Hopefully that's a thing. Wyatt Teller, Jack Conklin, they're also kind of saying the same. Jed Wills is still here. Postich and I don't know. Do you say post Postich or Postich or like Pokic? <laughs> I know that's not the way you, you pronounce it, but defense now. Oh, Stewart's sick. Okay, good for them. They got a defensive interior player as well. They lose to Darius Smith. So we'll see how this, uh, this uh, team and defense plays out as the defense has gotten a little up and down and uh got some okay pieces on it nothing to really be too confident in though Ooh, worst start so far two and five obviously not where you want to be we'll upgrade david bell and isaiah mcguire he's up to a 70 overall good for isaiah mcguire he's uh developing quite fast and maybe could see a role he's a missouri edge rusher they took like in the back end of the draft a three for sure i, I would guess round five but i definitely could be wrong 1400 yards 10 touchdowns to five interceptions for Deion. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. That would be fun. Deshaun Watson, 115 carries, 580 yards, five uh, yards per carry and five touchdowns and this Oliver kid is doing just fine in that number two spot but Jerome Ford averaging 4.2 per carry is quite nice with two touchdowns Elijah Moore and Evan Pickens who for some reason is getting more reps than Seti Tillman um I mean I'll just let it kind of play out I guess defensively uh Brian Stewart I just am here to see Miles Garrett pretty much and we'll be on to the playoffs this midseason so far season has not gone their way we'll see if they can clean it up and fix whatever they need to for the playoffs okay it wasn't a bad season I think this is actually our best one so far eight and nine as a finish isn't awesome but Deshaun Watson finishes a little bit more conservative I'm, I'm happy to see this it seems like he's uh developing if you will is Joey Thomas you are or Thompson you are not better than Dorian Thompson Robinson okay but 3300 yards 21 touchdowns to 11 interceptions is not bad Nick Chubb's doing what he needs to do and Oliver and Drum Ford actually did better than him in my opinion receiving Elijah Moore Evan Pickens and Seti Tillman uh you're missing kind of your your top receiving weapons you had that one and two duo with Mario Cooper and Elijah Moore who are completely two different types of players so Cedric Tillman might have to take a step up and uh, I have an idea what we'll do next season and once again I'm only here for Miles Garrett see his numbers I'm just I'm just seeing what sort of playbook this is so far not a good start at all and sure you guys might want me to change playbooks and let me know if you guys would prefer that down in the comments below I would really like to hear your guys's opinion on that because I did that once with the career sim with George Pickens back in Madden 23 where I put it on like uh, the Minnesota or Los Angeles Rams and he was racking up hella yards he was a 99 overall superstar x factor pretty quick and i was like well that's just not fun because you automatically know what he's gonna do he's gonna put up 1700 yards pretty automatically and it's just gonna keep just it's, it gets repetitive real quick so let me know if you guys want that but uh so far it's been a spotty start for the browns and deshaun watson in this video which is uh unfortunate so i think we're actually entering cedric tillman's last year of his deal so we'll see what kind of shakes up with him and what can happen and i have an idea like i mentioned as we'll put cedric okay we'll put cedric tillman as a wide receiver one and he'll play 
play pretty much every rep but uh, elijah moore will come in and play the slot receiver and wide receiver two and evan pickens will play that wide receiver three spot which he was pretty good in last week uh last year luke whippler what a scary looking dude um yeah not gonna acknowledge too much of that <laughs> we'll move on and uh we'll have hollister is this a this is a tackle and he'll come up and play a tight end too i guess what an athletic tackle i don't know how you're rated out of 74 out of tight end and we have pretty bad safeties now Denzel, I mean, we have an okay receive, um, corner group. Looks like we might be running out of money and we can't really extend too many people. And speaking of, I do want to see this uh, stats and contract right here for Deshaun Watson as he has one year remaining and $64 million on the books is absolutely insane. Especially imagine you're paying that type of money for an 80 overall star development, 30 year old quarterback. My ass, I tell you, this is an outrage. <laughs> we'll see how the team does with the last year in contract for both Cedric uh, Tillman in his new role. And I'm going to make sure that I put Elijah Moore in the slot and the last year of Deshaun Watson's original Browns contract and wow we were atrocious three and 14 the 30th best offense and the 24th worst defense can we get any worse Deshaun Watson threw for only 3,100 yards 21 touchdowns to 10 interceptions not all on him in my opinion I think that he definitely could have been better as we all can but um Nick Chubb it's kind of lackluster in the yards department as well receiving though Cedric Tillman led the team did a good job in his role but I don't like that I don't like that he gets you know 15 more catches than Elijah Moore that's just not fun not fair not cool defensively here to check Miles Garrett. <laughs> but yeah, entering next season, we're going to see all these guys be free agents along with Dorian Thompson or Thompson Robinson. I don't know why I struggle so much with that. Deshaun Watson, Cameron Mitchell, who is up to a 76 overall. Good for him. But Cedric Tillman as well. And Dewan Jones. So we'll have these guys that'll uh, be question marks, but a lot more affordable than some stars that we've seen in the past. Leave and we'll see where and if DeAndre Hopkins ends back up with the Browns. If he considers retirement this early or heads off to a new team, this offseason will matter a whole lot moment of truth you guys will get my first reaction there is no more Deshaun watson on this team and they didn't keep uh you know any anybody i expected them to cedric tillman's gone as well but yeah we'll see if Deshaun watson and any of his teammates squatted up elsewhere we'll see where he landed and Deshaun watson goes to the most corrupt franchise i can't say that it's like oh it's fitting that'd be mean but i don't have to say it <laughs> Do you bring in a regressing Deshaun Watson? I'm not going to ask for a reason or anything like that, but I'm guessing he'll start. He will over Dobson and Trey Lance. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you have a good receiving duo here. Is that Parker Washington, who I'm going to put up in the wide receiver three spot because I like him a lot coming out of Penn State. A really shifty playmaker type of guy. Uh, Woodall, Rankins, you have a good offensive line ahead of you. Defensively, you have Derek Forrest, Cam Curls, a pretty good safety duo. Really good linebacking squad, it looks like. Something or something that'll develop over the course of time as well. Kendall Fuller has got to be like 35 by now. Oh my lord, he's old. Oh, 32. He's like 28 in real life. I'm probably thinking of someone else, the other Fuller. Uh, there's him and then... Yeah, like I said, the other Fuller. I, I can't remember his name, but I can picture his face. But I can't show a face because I can't remember his name. If that's, you know in the realm of possibility in your guys' brains that you guys understand that. Monta Sweat, Chase Young, Josh, uh, Jonathan Allen, and Deron Payne. All really good players, and we'll see how they can kind of shape up a great defense, and Emmanuel Forbes as well. I forgot about him on the outside. So, this should be a pretty fun season to go around. Deshaun Watson in a new area. Like I said, regressing a little bit at 31 years of age we'll see how long he can hold on to a starting job in the league we'll look at his new contract it's only a one year 14 million dollars he goes down 50 mil half a billion dollars right 100 million no definitely not half a billion i'm speaking out of my ass let's have fun <coughs> it's literally the beginning of the recording for the day it's a new day for me and uh i started off by uh you know breathing getting ready to start and coughing but we have an 89 overall defense and i also didn't realize that so that votes really well for us and on the new team why not just some to mid-season see what numbers uh deshaun watson can put up three and four at the first mid-season mark with the washington commander six in the nfl and passing and wow yeah he's actually come in and uh, thrown really well so far we'll see how he can close out the season but we are without a solidified like rb1 
at this point but receiving we still have Jahan Dotson Terry McLaurin on the team Jahan Dotson's been pretty good uh you know two touchdowns to start the season off isn't wonderful but I, I like what I'm seeing from this team and we are looking pretty good as Parker Washington's also putting up some pretty good numbers so we'll see how we can close it off but a good little mid-season check-in we finished at the bottom of the division going six and eleven which obviously you don't want to do but Deshaun Watson 3,900 yards 24 touchdowns 13 interceptions rushing George Chambers is at almost four yards a carry with Deshaun Watson right here with nearly 350 yards on the ground three touchdowns receiving wise John Dawson leads the team with 974 six touchdowns but Parker Washington with eight and in the slot wow he actually he works really well I don't know what uh what's up with him but normal development I know he's built like a running back and whatnot but yeah I mean he doesn't look bad at all I mean got great catching stats and can run shorter routes he's built to made or he's made to be in the slot and he's built like a running back so he's uh pretty good after the catch i don't know i had high hopes for him and uh in the game i guess now that i think about it definitely a guy like i wouldn't mind trading for now that i know all that like that like i actually saw his stats i haven't really looked at parker washington too much because he's probably like a 69 overall when you start the game i think it was like a fifth round pick out of penn state to the jacksonville jaguars if not he was even later than that but i mean we'll see how it you know it moves moving forward in real life he was actually a healthy scratch in the first one which isn't you know wonderful but still made the roster and uh yeah i like his ability i wasn't you know i was actually pretty high on him coming out of the draft i should just say that did deshaun watson re-up here he did not dobson comes out with superstar x factor and there's no need for deshaun watson to sign another one year deal with this team despite probably having the best season of his career so we'll go on a little hunt we'll go on a little little scavenger hunt looking for deshaun watson okay deshaun watson is a bangle which i'm not completely on board with because if he's just gonna sit as joe burrow's backup which he is because joe burrow's obviously with the Bengals, i'm not gonna simulate his career as a bangle so i don't know i might i don't know i hate to interfere here but i think i'm gonna go like trade him to another team i don't I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what is this quarterback room? You got Chris Clemens, you got Deshaun Watson and whatnot. So we'll look for a team with interest and no starting QB as that'll be really important. And here we go. Already found one. Let's see if uh, we can make a move here with the Broncos to bring us over something that we need. Just the only thing is I have to look at what we need. Deshaun Watson and a fifth will go for this rookie tackle with hidden development just to uh, help the Cincinnati Bengals out. But we'll go and look at what Deshaun Watson can do. See what sort of damage he can, um, you know, wreck through the league with with the uh, Broncos. Another player that I was really high on coming out of the draft. I just got to find the adjust lineup button as I seem to be more lost than a child in Walmart right now. Um, Drew Sanders, one that really developed through the course of this simulation. 26 years of age, five years in the league and he's already at superstar x factor an insane i mean there's no real way to look at him right now and say he's a great player but he has the potential to be one of the better linebackers in the league and i think that goes so under the radar and it went so far under the radar with him in the draft processes uh, marvin mims actually superstar development as well so he's also on the uptrend isaiah likely is a bronco i really like this team and all they needed was that quarterback spark in my opinion and they've got one hell of a defense david ajabo had a good week one by the way and then i don't know why you don't play this guy over richie grant so i'm gonna do that for them levi on and then they have the stevenson guy i'm gonna put it number two under milton williams i believe and then pascal you got a pretty good uh rotation on this defensive line nothing like no superstar standouts or anything pastor tan jc jackson and beeson over here and uh yeah they're set up for success in my opinion we'll see what they can do and deshaun watson might just be the one to carry them over the finish line okay i totally lied to you guys oh and seven for the denver broncos um i don't know how that happens i don't know how that's a thing but uh 1300 yards six touchdowns to five interceptions really underwhelming offense and jerry judy's your leading receiver not even at 60 yards a game no touchdowns to really spread around uh defensively though i do want to see how this playbook is and why uh you know perhaps drew sanders is so good maybe just yeah tackles holy shit 54 and 60 that's a lot of tackles let me to the playoffs now if we can go undefeated we should be good but uh i'd say that's a little bit of a stretch we finished uh two and 15 if you guys were curious and there's drew sanders stat line it was locked in today against the jets i'm guessing you guys still lost 
because your bones, as Kenny Pickett actually led the league in yards, so that's crazy. 3,000 yards for Deshaun Watson, only 16 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. They really have uh, Russell Wilson down bad in this playbook. <laughs> Not doing him any favors. 230 carries for Javante, 1,100 yards. A lot per average. It's not bad at all. Six rushing touchdowns, not that great. Jerry Judy didn't even cross the 1,000-yard mark. Marvin Mims is underwhelming for how good he is. Defensively, uh, yeah, 153 tackles, 136. What is going on? So many tackles to go around and very little i mean there's actually quite a few turnovers as well drew sanders with three of those half a sack on the season only though he'll be uh averaging way more than that five years from now in the in the league he's a really good blitzer just uh just to put that out there next season we'll head to um yoda now apparently Let's see where uh deshaun watson ends up might even be in a retirement home cindy can't stop by the red chili peppers right now red hot chili peppers right now i'm absolutely turned moment of truth and we're gonna have deshaun watson he's back with the broncos i don't know if that's good news with how bad this team performed last year i'm going to change the playbooks i can't stand another season like that as nobles is up to uh you know superstar x factors or 10 do we have anybody else to come up and play corner i guess not but uh yeah we're gonna need someone on the inside i'm gonna put stevenson back up to the oh jesus is it stephenson you think it'd be stephenson here actually but i'm gonna call it stevenson because well that just makes more sense oh so this is interesting it's arizona playbook so what does that mean i really don't know and i don't care to find out so we'll find out what one do i think is gonna work well with our well what, what team were we at we were at the the one before the Bengals. i can't believe i can't remember that we we're with the washington commanders so we'll use ron rivera's offense and then i do not want to do air raid i want to do west coast uh spread i just need to make sure that we aren't just completely focused on the the pass because Deshaun Watson being a focal part of an offense at this uh you know age is not ideal. So we'll head to the Super Bowl or playoffs. I don't know why it's the Super Bowl. We'll head to the playoffs see the numbers. We ended up going six and eleven, which obviously still no good, but Deshaun Watson put up thirty-eight, almost thirty two hundred yards on the season, twenty-five touchdowns, only seven interceptions. Pretty good. Numbers by him, Javante Williams, four and a half per carry to Sean Watson, nearly four and a half as well. Nine touchdowns for Javante. A fumble for Deshaun Watson. Jerry Judy was underwhelming. Dylan Goldman was underwhelming. Marvin Mims was extremely underwhelming. You guessed it. Defensively, I do want to check this again. So 22 TFLs and eight sacks for your right end here. As Joe Tryon Shoyinka actually had a really good season with 19 TFLs and three sacks. Good for him, but we'll see if uh deshaun watson lands elsewhere if he retires or if he can come back and try to perfect his craft with this broncos team i think it's a good team but they just gotta they gotta put it together for a season and that seems nearly impossible for him for some reason and i don't think we'll have a deshaun watson renewal here i will do the broncos a solid and start powell for him superstar development good for them but really pissed off that uh i don't know why i'm pissed off. i just said i'm pissed off for what am i i, uh, I have questions about myself find that to sean watson we'll look for him here and we'll keep going down he's a jaguar he's going to be sitting behind the former clemson uh, standout trevor lawrence if i had to guess yes so both clemson quarterbacks going to be headed there i'm not going to simulate that it's just not fun he's going to sit there in a the backup i'm not trading him again he's 34 years old he's an old piece of shit and i don't care to you know simulate for him so deshaun watson will finish and uh you know that's kind of rough for uh some people that might be psd forget about that career stats we'll look at it as he started off really really well first year starting came in and tore up the league and did so good this year the 2020 season worth 4,833 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Kind of only a downfall from there, right? He comes in and doesn't do too much. This is a pretty good season, uh, despite the 18 interceptions. Could have gone without that, for sure. This was probably his best year at the time. And then, uh, since the simulation, obviously, the 2020 season stands out more than any other. And uh, just finished his career on a pretty low note honestly not not really winning too much and we'll actually go to look and see if he gets rewards so three pro bowl pro bowl appearances he was picked number 12 in 2017 and uh his contract yeah he's on a two million dollar or one and a half even 
like barely so i don't know we've seen we've seen some up and downs for deshaun watson but more downs than ups as we simulated through the rest of his career kind of an unfortunate uh story because he was so talented really good and then obviously had that stoppage in his career controversy and uh all that good stuff so that'll be it for me thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed it consider leaving a like go down subscribe go watch any of the past content on my channel i'm gonna guarantee you it's an ian guarantee that you will like it i promise so that'll be all see you guys uh next time deuces